Welcome back to Senior Extremers. I'm 30 feet above the ground, I'm up in the trees, and we're about to walk over here and go zip lining 30 miles an hour through the air. This is gonna be fantastic. So let's go meet our Senior Extremer team for today. We're now here with the team. We're with Desiree, we're with Martha, and we're with Bill. Desiree, how'd you get started at ZipLine? I was able to come out here for Media Day, ribbon cutting, oh, about two years ago, three years ago, and um, the rest is history. I've fallen in love with it, and I haven't stopped zipping since. You're hooked. I am hooked. So to speak. Yes, definitely. What's this all about, the zip lining? You guys suited me up with all kinds of we wild did. stuff here. We got a harness on you, and we're going to go zip lining in a few minutes. we got to get a helmet on you, too, okay. and some gloves. So this is dangerous? No. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. I guess the equipment, the safety issue is, is, is pretty important. You don't want to fall off the cable, right? Very, very safe system we have. Very, very okay. safe, yes. Older folks, senior extremers, uh, you recommend this for people 50s, 60s, 70s? Absolutely, into their 80s. What's your oldest uh, zip liner? We have one guy out here at um, 81 and a half, and another one at 81 on his birthday, and he was very upset that he wasn't our oldest zipper, so he said he'd be back next year for his 82nd. And physically, what kind of shape does somebody have to be in to zip line? I would say you need to be able to climb uh, several flights of stairs. Okay. And, uh, and going all the way around, you'll be climbing well over 200 steps. So you get your exercise. So you want to be in fairly good shape. Definitely. How fast do we get going on the cables? We'll start out at about 12 miles an hour, and in the end, we'll be topping off at 30. So now we're going 30 miles an hour. How do I stop at the other end? Oh, you are going to be the brake. You're going to have gloves, and you are the brake. All right, the good news is there's one more backup in that. We don't expect you to come in and meet the pole or interface with our other equipment. I'm going to be there to catch you if you miss it. Well, let's go zip line. <laughs> All right, let's All do right. it. Okay, Desiree, what do we do first? All right, Mike, this is our practice zip, okay? We have two cables. We're going to be riding on both of these. And I'm going to do all your hooking and unhooking for you, okay? This is where I'm going to teach you how to break. So we're going to hook these up here. Are you left-handed? No. No. Okay, me either. All right, so once this is up here on the short lanyard, it's a totally closed system. So we have safety, safety, and more safety. Each of these has a strength of 5,500 pounds. Okay? Do the job. Okay. I'm going to tell you, you have to be in shape to climb the stairs and the ladders. The zip lining is uh, the after effect. Right, you ready? Looking good. All right. Right now, we're on the swinging bridge. <laughs> we're hooked up the zip line, but uh, we're actually walking across this cable suspended bridge. And uh, if you look out here, we've got the Coldwater Creek. I've actually been on this and rafted about 10 miles. It's a, it's a great ride. It takes you almost all day. Wow. 
Fantastic, Desiree. What a rush. How fast were we going? Probably in the between 25 and 30 on that one. We were flying. We can go faster on the next one. I'll get you going on it, okay? Super. <laughs> and we went across the water here, which was great. It was beautiful. Yeah. See, oh. this is what it's all about. You got to get off the catch. You got to go for it. Age is not the time. I'll see you next time on Senior Extreme. <laughs>